Welcome back to another episode of Tech TLDR. Today I have a big update regarding the SN9 static fire as well as its possible launch date. I also have a little bit of info regarding a upcoming mission for tomorrow, SpaceX. So if you want to know all about that, be sure to stick to the whole episode. But let's get into the reason why you clicked on this video, which is the SN9. So yesterday it had multiple attempts for the static fire and it finally did one. Now it was short. It was very brief. It didn't seem like a normal static fire. A lot of people were kind of questioning what was going on. And last night, or earlier today, I should say, the locals in the area got an alert saying that from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. today, there is going to be another closure, which is the same one they do for these static fire tests. So it proved that the one they did yesterday was not enough. It was not sufficient for an actual static fire. It didn't give them the data and the info that they needed. So today, they have officially done the static fire and apparently it has gone successful they didn't have any problems uh, i don't think any engines blew up like last time no ruds so things look to be going well for the sn9 now we don't really know why yesterday's were so weird and abrupt we do know that the ones that they did were at least successful today which is the important thing hopefully they have the info they need to continue on with the SN9 and to do its launch and landing soon. I'm hoping that this is enough information. I'm hoping that they got everything they needed. If you follow my channel or any other space channel, you know that SpaceX really doesn't give out any information. It's really upon independent journalists and people on the inside. I wouldn't even say the inside, just locals to these areas that are giving all the information and data. We don't actually know from SpaceX until they've done it afterwards they'll do the launch and then they'll come out with information regarding the entire process but for now all we know is that this static fire has officially is been officially completed it went well and so we're hoping that apparently monday is the net date for this possible launch if we go on the faa's temporary flight restrictions we do see space operations in the area for sunday to monday January 24th to January 25th. Now, I don't think Sunday is going to happen. I feel like that's just a little too soon. Monday, I think Monday will be the earliest we will see it. And I think we could see it Monday. I don't, I won't rule that out. I'm hoping they don't push it back again, considering today the static fire going well. I'm hoping that everything's clear for them to do this and there's no problems lying ahead. But I do have to say, I'm impressed with how quick SpaceX pull this together i mean just last week when they did those three static fires and two of the engines had problems a lot of people are speculating that it wasn't going to be until february that they replaced it and we were going to see a launch if we see one by monday january 25th that beats that curve really quickly that really gets them ahead of i wouldn't say ahead of schedule but it beats the predictions people are thinking of and the whole doom and gloom of oh it's going to be a long time until we see this spacex had those replaced within I think less than 48 hours those engines were replaced and then within another few days the static fires go like i said still have no official reason as to why there were multiple delays with the static fires and why the one they did yesterday was so weird and it wasn't a full attempt if i find that out i will be giving it to you guys in another episode but let's just have fingers crossed and hope that we do see this actual launch and landing and landing this coming monday now if that's all you guys want to know regarding that i understand you leave the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this and at least drop a like you know it helps me out with the youtube algorithm and the next thing i want to talk about if you want to stick to the whole episode is what's coming up tomorrow so spacex is actually launching their falcon 9 for multiple satellite operations this is kind of like a rideshare operation they're doing and they're working with multiple companies on this one so they have their Starlink satellites are part of this. Those are going to be going into orbit. I know that they just launched earlier this week one of their Falcon 9s. Now they have more Starlinks going up. They also have another payload for a thing called Planet and also a nano satellite called Charlie for Aurora Insight. SpaceX at this point, I think they're pretty much doing, based on what they originally said at the beginning of the year, I think they're doing like 40 plus launches this year. They're doing, I mean, four launches three to four launches a month of the falcon 9 um they've already done two successful this month the turksat and their earlier starlinks and now they're doing this one tomorrow 
So this is going to be three for January. And that's just the ones they have planned. I mean, imagine if another vendor comes, another customer comes and says, hey, I need this by blah, blah, blah. SpaceX can do it really quick. They have the Falcon 9s ready to go. And this booster, in fact, this one is going to be its fifth launch and landing. So I know on the previous one, it was its eighth one. This one's doing its fifth one. So these boosters, this whole project is running really smooth for SpaceX. I love to see it. I love that these aren't just doing two launches, you know, the whole reusable thing, like, oh, it does two. It's like, no, this is actually using multiple launches, five launches for this. That's crazy. And this one as well, it's going to be launching off of the coast of Florida and landing on the drone ship out in the Atlantic Ocean, which personally, I like seeing it land on the drone ship. I think it just adds that little more unique challenge to the entire endeavor. So hopefully, I don't even say hopefully, we know SpaceX is going to stick the landing with these they haven't had any problems recently whatsoever with this. And Monday, Monday SN9 landing. Fingers crossed. That's all I have for you guys in this episode. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more content. Make sure you click the like button, please. It helps me out so much in the YouTube algorithm. And if you like this content or if you have any concerns, questions, insights, anything you want to drop in the comments, be sure to do it. I love answering questions and comments. I love talking with you guys. With that being said, have a good one.